2012. I'm throwing a plastic T-Zone from Brunswick. And this is the first year I really got into bowling. And this is kind of when I guess it all really started for me. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen was the first year I ever started bowling with a hook ball. Twenty thirteen was the year I got a new high score of a two seventy nine at age ten. Twenty thirteen was the year I knew bowling was what I wanted to do and nothing was gonna stop me from it. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen I still had my hook balls. Twenty fourteen I was still throwing ten pounds. I'd expanded my arsenal to mainly just hammer equipment. I loved hammer because it was the only company at that time that made ten pound um hook equipment, but now almost every company does. I was really, really, really motivated at this time to become the best bowler in the state, if not in the country. But uh, being a kid, being a 10 year old at this point, I was not willing to put as much work in as I am now. Again, I'll let the p clips pay for themselves. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen was probably one of, if not the biggest years for me. Twenty fifteen was the first year I ever went to junior gold. Twenty fifteen was the best year I've ever had positioning in Pepsi. In fact, it was the only year I made it to match play, and the one year I did, I made it to second place. As you can see, my throw has definitely developed. I'm getting my arm higher, my sw my ball going faster, more rotation and I have much more of an athletic look at my throw. But I was still throwing 12, 10 pounds at the time, and I was not getting the carry I wish I did. But looking back, I think it was probably a better decision to keep it that way. May of 2015. Now, the day that this was recorded was actually the first day I got my new 12 pound equipment, and it was all storm. Uh, I believe it was a high road and some other stuff, high road pearl. But uh, I was actually testing them on a GYBT pattern, and I did pretty well. I believe I won the tournament. And right about this time, it was really when I was focused on junior gold and winning it all. Twenty seventeen. The current time that you know we're in right now 2017 so far has been amazing youtube bowling and pretty much everything else to this year is my biggest year and best year already so far and we're only in february i've made so much improvements in my swing my throw and everything total and i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you give me on my channel we're actually about to hit 2,000 subscribers and i can't thank you guys enough you guys are the best, and I hope you all enjoyed this. There are going to be many clips still playing with the music, but I want to let you guys know, making this video did take a lot of time, 
uh, and it was really weird going back and looking through all of this footage from 2012 to now. And I definitely can tell you this, in 2012, when I'm throwing that straight ball, I never thought that one day I would be doing a voiceover of me doing that. So that's just to show you anything is possible if you really put your mind to it. Well, that wraps up that video, guys. Seriously, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did editing it. Uh, as I said in the end, it's seriously crazy to think that in 2012, my dream was, and my basically everyday life was me going bowling and then coming home, watching tournaments, watching all the players bowl, and then, you know, now here I am. I've won numerous tournaments. I'm improving more and more every day. Um, I'm having great success with YouTube, bowling, and pretty much everything else. And it's crazy to think that in 20, 2012 that I'm there bowling, having a good time. And in 2017, I'm going back and I'm editing that video for a YouTube video for almost 2,000 people to watch. That honestly blows my mind. And that, I hope, inspires any of you guys out there that anything truly is possible if you really put your mind to it. I guarantee you, if you try as hard as you can and put your effort and everything you've got into that one thing that you want as badly as you do, it'll come true. Promise you. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.